Hey guys, this is Rishi Chalani from The Dark Knot, and today I would like to talk to you about what to look for in a quality tie. Seven things to look for in a quality tie. Now, when I founded The Dark Knot two years ago, my goal was to bring luxurious ties to the marketplace at an affordable price, right? Uh, pretty simple, cliche, but I really felt like we could add value there, and more than that, uh, core philosophy behind our brand is to help gentlemen dress better. We have recommendations for matching attire with every tie that we sell. But uh, enough about the brand. I want to get into seven qualities, uh, seven factors to look for in a high quality tie. Now, the first thing to look for in a high quality tie is the slip stitch, all right? Now, the slip stitch is the stitch running through the tie at the back, and you'll see it here. All right, you can pull apart and you'll see the stitch. It should be running all the way up the length of the tie. And that's the first quality, you know, first hallmark of a good quality tie. The second thing you want to look for is a bar tack. Now the bar tack is what holds the two parts of the wide end of the blade on the back side together, right? This is, a, this is the uh, front of the tie here. And at the back, you have these two parts of the blade that are overlapping and they're held together by a bar tack stitch. Now, a good quality tie should have a reinforced bar tack. A lot of ties you will see have a very thin stitch here, which means that the tie can come apart quite easily. So you want something, and we've gone through extra care with this, to give this a, a reinforced bar tack stitch, which really keeps the tie together and makes it durable in the long run. Now, the third thing of a quality tie, and it's not going to make a difference to the durability or you, or you wearing it, but it is, um, it, it does show that the tie manufacturer has paid attention to detail. Now, most ties that say they're 100% silk ties are actually using, they're skimping and they're using polyester tipping. The tipping is the back part of the tie here. A high quality tie should have silk tipping at the bottom. If it's 100% silk, the tie is made of silk, which is the outer shell. The tipping should also be with silk. And like I said, a lot of tie brands out there use polyester. So that's the third thing to look for. So the first thing is a slip stitch. Second is the bar tack. The third is silk tipping. Now the fourth thing you wanna look for is the keeper. Now the keeper or the loop, we have both in this instance. Most ties have one, some have two, is what the skinny end of the tie goes through when you finish tying the tie. And you wanna keep the skinny end in place. Now a lot of keepers are just stitched around the edges over here and they're not folded into the seam. Now you can see we've gone through extra careful detail to fold the keeper and the loop of the tie through the seam, which means it's reinforced. Because a lot of times when you're tugging through, you're pulling the tie through and you're adjusting it, and the skinny end of the tie, the blade is going against this, it can often lead to wear and tear. And a lot of tie wearers complain about that, that the, that the keeper or the loop often breaks down because it's just not durable enough because the stitching isn't good enough. So again, this is something you should pay attention to. And this is the fourth factor we pay attention to is the, the loop or the keeper, the, the stitching with it, make sure it's made of good material and that it's stitched through the seam. Now the fifth thing is the interlining. Now. If you actually dig into your tie, you can put your finger in and pull out the interlining uh, to see what it's made of. Uh, a lot of silk ties out there use polyester interlining, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but it just doesn't give the tie the uh, memory that it needs uh, to find its shape again. Because you have to understand with ties, you're wearing them, right? We're going through all these contortions with the tie. We're tying it, um, we're pulling it, where we're untying it, we're adjusting the knot, and so, there's quite a bit of strain that goes into wearing a tie and untying a tie. Um, and so when you have strong interlining, it's gonna give the tie a nice feel, nice drape, and it's gonna give it you know, the memory that the tie needs to retain its shape. So high quality ties should have wool interlining. Our ties at the dark knot have wool and a layer of cotton to add that extra layer of smoothness to the tie al or along with the thickness of the wool. Now the fifth thing you want to look for the, the sixth thing you want to look for is to make sure that a tie is cut into three pieces. Now a high quality tie is going to be constructed of three pieces. So we can see from the skinny end, this is one piece here. You can see the cut and then you're going to see you have one end of the tie here That's a, uh, from the skinny end, that's a cut. And then shortly after that you should have another cut. So that's one piece. After that first cut that I mentioned here is a skinny end, 
and after the second cut is a wide end. So a high end tie should be made from three pieces. It just means that it's gonna retain its shape better. Um, when you're putting it around your neck, it's just gonna contort better and it's just gonna be more flexible because there are more pieces that the tie is made of. And the last thing to look for in a high quality tie is to ensure that it's cut on the bias. Now, when ties are made, they're cut on the bias, which means they're cut at a 45 degree angle, which ensures that the tie basically stays in place and it has its drape when it's finally manufactured. And the way to test this is to take your arm and take your tie and basically hang it over, all right? And if the tie is not twirling around, that means it's basically been cut on the bias and that's a sign of a high quality tie. So I hope this video helped you. Next time you're out there looking for a tie that you wanna buy, it really helps to take these um, seven factors into consideration. One last thing you can do to ensure durability is to pull a part of the tie and see if it retains its, its strength. This will mean that it's made from high quality silk and the interlining is strong. So if you pull it as hard as you can, fairly hard, and see if it goes back to its shape. Again, pull it, and it should go back to its original sizing. So thank you once again for watching this video. Please feel free to subscribe below or go to our website where you can sign up for our newsletter um, and view our various product offering that includes ties, pocket squares, and lapel flowers. Thank you once again, and I look forward to speaking to you in our next video. Thank you.